Yo, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be taking a look at the new Kala Solid Body U-Bass that is a miniature sized bass that packs the playability and punch of a normal size bass. At least that's what they say. We're gonna be testing out the audio, checking out the hardware and everything there is to know about this bass and determine if it's worth it for the price. All right, so this is the base. It's pretty small, right? Honestly, this base is, you know, quite a bit smaller than my regular base. It has a 23 and a half inch fretboard and the entire size of the body is only 33 inches. To give you some perspective, my regular base, my five string jazz base, you see on a lot of videos, is about 52 inches. So this is just over half the size. So that is just nuts. One thing I noticed when I took this out of the box is the weight and build quality of this bass is so solid. The body is made of Akume wood, the neck is maple, and the fretboard is a laurel fretboard. Now the headstock is a standard headstock just shrunk down to the size to fit this bass. And honestly, when you play it, it feels like a really solid, good quality bass. So now the hardware on this bass is actually really solid. It has two black metal knobs for the volume and the tone control. And it also has these closed gear tuners on the back that are really solid and they're metal. It also has these round wound strings that are from Kala Bass, which are really nice because a lot of times you see U basses and different things like that have these silicone type strings that don't always stay in tune that well. These are just like, feel like normal bass strings that you have on a normal bass. So there are not a ton of electronics on this bass. It has two split coil passive style pickups. And then like I said, it has a volume knob and a tone knob, just like what you would see on a normal bass. So at the time of this video, there's only three colors you can get in this bass, which is this candy apple red, which is what I got. They have a black color, and then they also have a tobacco burst color. Now a couple of things that are included with this bass that's really nice is this leather style strap, and it's really, really nice, uh, especially for this size bass. It hooks up just like a normal style bass with the buttons on the end. Now the other thing it comes with is a nice plush soft case that actually has a little bit of thickness and it's not just like a piece of plastic covering it. It actually does protect it really well. So you guys are probably asking, Travis, what does this bass sound like? And so we're gonna do two audio tests. The first one's gonna be a completely dry test where it's the bass going straight into the interface. And the second one is going to be one that is mixed in with some instruments and a track of me playing with it so you can hear how it sounds in context of a band. So now the big question, is this bass worth the price? At the time of this video, this bass is currently $349 USD. And honestly, when I have compared this to all my other basses that are about the same you know, quality level and even just same electronics, this plays and feels better straight out of the box than any of these other ones, which is kind of insane. So I would say this bass is definitely worth the money. So now who is this bass made for? I say it's made for three different types of people. The first is bass players or just musicians that want a bass they can travel with easy and doesn't take up a lot of space. This has all the functions of a normal bass that you can use on gigs or you could just use at home. And so 
This is really made for those type of people. Now, the second type of person would be parents with kids that have small hands, okay? This fretboard is so small that it's a small enough for you know an adult to kind of play it and not feel constricted, and also for a kid to play it and not feel like the frets are really, really big. So I would definitely suggest this to any parent who has a kid who's learning how to play bass. Now, the last person this is for is someone who just wants an instrument that doesn't take up a lot of space that you could put in a living area on a stand or something like that to where if you're just sitting on the couch and you just want to play the bass, you can just grab it, pick it up, and start playing. Or if you have a piano or other instruments, or if you're a writer and you just want a bass that's easily accessible that you could take to a writing session or anything like that, this is for you as well. So just like I do with all of my Worth the Price videos, I'm giving away this product, this base, to one of you guys. Not this one, I, I wanna keep this one. But I have another one that's the same color, same brand, everything, that I'm giving away to one of you. All you have to do is submit your email on my website at travisdicesmusic.com. You should see it on the homepage and be able to scroll down and find it and click and add your email and you will be submitted to the giveaway. So if you're interested in purchasing this base or just want some more specs on it, check out my personal affiliate link in the description below. If you like this style video still, please let me know in the comments and also let me know if you already own one of these bases and what you think about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.